It's the first round of midweek fixtures in this season's championship. So it's some midweek madness for you in these predictions. We've got to go lightning fast, lightning quick. No time for messing around. Well, maybe a little bit of time for messing around. And we also have to adhere to the golden rule. The only rule, in fact, and that is that Oxford always win. <laughs> But we are away from home, so maybe take that with a pinch of salt. In fact, take the whole video with a truckload of salt, because let's jump into these predictions. And we start at Turf Moor with Burnley versus Plymouth Argyle. You pilgrims, what a result. Result of the weekend, getting that victory over Luton Town. Plymouth starting to emerge as a useful side under Wayne Rooney. Burnley couldn't get the job done against Oxford, but they are the first side to come away from Fortress Kassam with a point. And I do just think the Clarets will be a little bit too strong for the Pilgrims on this occasion. I'm going for Burnley 2, Plymouth 1. Cardiff City versus Millwall. Oh my goodness, Cardiff season is a train wreck at the moment. They just can't get any momentum going. They need a new manager. They need something to give their fans a lift. And I don't think they're going to get it here. I think the Lions are going to be too strong for the Bluebirds on this occasion. Back-to-back -back victories for Neil Harris's men. I'm going for a narrow win for Millwall. Cardiff nil, Millwall one. Coventry City versus Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn Rovers continue to be unbeaten, continue to hammer sides at home and continue to be tough to be away. Coventry, yeah, thank you very much to the Coventry fan who reached out to tell me that the Sky Blues are still firmly behind Mark Robbins. Well, I hope you still are, even after that punishing defeat to Leeds. Going to be a difficult game, this one. I do just think Blackburn will get something from this game. I'm going Coventry 1, Blackburn 1. Luton Town versus Oxford United, undoubtedly the game of the week, I'm sure you will agree. But hello old friend, or hello old foe, we meet again. We've had some ding-dong battles right the way through the Football League, even in the non-league with Luton Town. So it's good to play them again. It's another former Premier League side that we're coming up against after getting that creditable draw against Burnley. Luton will be looking to bounce back after that defeat to Plymouth and they'll have Oxford firmly in their crosshairs as they'll be lining this one up as an easy victory. We've been pretty poor results-wise away from home. Well, terrible, in fact, results-wise away from home. But performances have been a little bit better than that and I'm hopeful, as always, that the Yellows can pick up a victory in this one because I have to adhere to the golden rule even if I don't totally believe in it myself Whew. Luton 1 Oxford 2 he's a madman a madman Norwich City versus Leeds United. This should be a cracker of a game at Carrow Road. Both sides with good wins at the weekend. Back-to-back -back wins for the Canaries. Borgia sites with a hat-trick. And the Canaries have got their mojo and are scoring goals. But Leeds had a fine win themselves. And I think this is going to be two top sides going at it for 90 minutes. Should be a cracker. But I do just think Norwich are going to edge it. I'm going to go for Norwich City 3, Leeds United 2. QPR versus Hull City. Uh, what a difference a week makes in football. Back-to-back -back wins for Hull. And they've got their season up and running. And they look like they've got finally got a little bit of momentum. And I think they're going to go down to London, have a bit of a midweek jolly up in the capital and come back with all three points. QPR just struggling a little bit at the moment. And I fancy the Tigers in this one. I'm going to go for QPR 1, Hull City 2. Sunderland versus Derby County. Uh, Sunderland, again, another poor result for them on the road and they'll be looking to bounce back and I think they will bounce back in this game against Derby. Derby pretty unlucky overall in that game against Norwich, but I do just think this one's going to be too tough of an ask for poor Warnstein to get anything out of it. I'm going to go for a home win for Sunderland. I think that's where the smart money is. I'm going to go Sunderland 2, Derby 0. West Bromwich Albion versus Middlesbrough. West Brom lost their unbeaten start going down agonisingly in the end to Sheffield Wednesday. They got it back to 2-2 and just a minute later they ballsed it up. So they need a response. They need a fight back. Coming up against one of the probably the toughest sides to watch in the championship. Middlesbrough always seem to be involved in quite low scoring affairs and I think this one's going to be a low scoring affair where Borough are just going to edge out Borough? Baggies are just going to edge out Borough. There we go. Get it right. Um, so I think it's going to be a narrow win for West Brom. I'm going to go for West Brom 1, Middlesbrough 0.
On to Wednesday's games now, Preston North End versus Watford. I should really be going for a Watford victory in this one. Preston look a bit all at sea at the moment and Watford look in pretty good nick. But I'm just going to give Heckenbottom side a little bit of the benefit of the doubt, especially playing at home. I just think they're a little bit more organised with that home side, home crowd behind them and a little bit tougher to beat. But I do think Watford will come away with something from Deepdale. Honours even, Preston 1, Watford 1. Sheffield United versus Swansea City. Look, I'm recording this before I've seen Swansea play against Bristol City, so I don't know what immediate form they're taking into this one. Like, that makes a difference for me anyway. Sheffield United carried on their unbeaten start to the season with a nil-nil draw against Portsmouth. Chris Wilder took the positives out of that, and they'll be hoping they can get back to Bramwell Lane and get another victory on the board to carry on their fine start to the season. And I think that they will, but I don't think it's going to be an easy game against Russell Martin Swans. And I just think Sheffield United, pretty solid side, aren't they? Tough to break down, don't concede many goals. I think they're going to edge this one. I think it's going to be Sheffield United 1, Swansea City 0. Stoke City versus Portsmouth, two sides struggling down the bottom of the table. But I do think that's a little bit misleading when it comes to Pompey. Yes, they haven't won a game yet, but they've had a brutally tough start. They picked up another creditable draw against one of the top sides in the league at the weekend and it's only a matter of time I think before they start to get some wins on the board I thought they'd do it against Sheffield United they didn't but I going for them again I think they're going to beat this Stoke side who I think look pretty ropey and pretty poor and I think that home crowd is going to turn on this Stoke side especially if Pompey can go up early and I think it's going to be a pretty miserable evening in Stoke for the Stoke fans not for the Pompey fans and I'm going for Portsmouth to get their first win of the season hopefully they do it this time Stoke City nil Portsmouth 2 Finally, we end with Bristol City against Sheffield Wednesday. Again, I haven't seen Bristol City play against Swansea, but I do know that Bristol City are a better side at home when they play at Ashton Gate than they are when they play away. The same can be said for Wednesday. They got a good win over West Brom. A great win, in fact, and a much-needed win. It's the first win they've had since the opening day of the season. But again, I feel on their road away from Hillsborough, they're a much weaker side. They just don't play very well on their travels. And I just think it's going to end up being a pretty comfortable victory for Liam Manning's men. And I'm going to go for Bristol City 3, Sheffield Wednesday 1. And that's those predictions for week eight, game eight, match day eight, midweek madness, whatever you're going to call it, they are in the books. Let me know your predictions down below. Thank you for anybody that comments on these videos. I'm always interested to know your thoughts. And again, I really do appreciate your wild prediction takes as opposed to my wild prediction takes as well. Please like the video and if you like the content, please sub subscribe to the channel because that does help me out a lot. And I'll be back a ton of times this week because I'm going to do a review of the Luton Town versus Oxford United game on Tuesday night. Might come out Wednesday morning. Then we're going to have to do another predictions video for the weekend. And then there'll be a review video for Portsmouth versus Oxford. So content coming at you left, right and centre. Make sure you are subscribed and you hit that notify bell. And I'll be back, especially this week very soon. My work is done here. What do you mean your work is done? You don't do anything. <laughs> Didn't I?